Uh, I think this is the difference between vibe coding and spec-based development. I made a zine about it. Um, if, if you're just doing like single change or you're just telling the agent to like do a thing and then you're just having a bunch of ideas in a row, uh, it's gonna be bad. Just like if you did that with, with writing code without AI. You have to make a requirements file and then get really clear on the requirements and then you should have a snack and maybe sleep for an entire night and then come back to it the next day. Then you have it make a plan after you review the requirements one more time and you add two or three more things because you forgot them. And then uh, you have it make the plan and you say, look, uh, I want each phase of the plan to be one pull request in size, one feature in size, right? And then you, you have it save all that stuff because it gets lost, right? Like between conversation. Long conversations are also an anti-pattern because like they make me tired. They also are too many details for the language model to keep straight. And so it needs to have like written down what your conversation was in a scratch pad and then you keep conversations short. It's really that you need to use the discipline part of software engineering where you like scope and you have like goal posts. It'll document stuff for you, but you have to read the output. There's no such thing as low quality code because quality is a variable where you would put an actual descriptor that was addressable like modular or testable or fault tolerant or performant or cost effective or whatever. But something concrete where you can say that it is or is not done, not quality, which is a variable. Also, I have to use the docs and I've been doing this for 25 years. So you have to use the docs. So it has to use the docs or we're all not general intelligence. Don't argue either because it's just a waste of tokens. Instead, just click revert and then edit your prompt. It's not too complex for cursor. It's not modular enough for cursor. And if you don't understand what's happening, ask for an explanation. Tell it whether this is a demo or if it's going to production. Set expectations, yo. It's hard to perform without concrete expectations. Thinking, can the AI really do this is probably the wrong question. The answer is, what do I need to tell the AI so that it can do this? Even a really smart coworker needs onboarding.